In the headlines, government expresses mixed reactions on electoral reform report. The United Workers' Party to take to the city's streets on Monday in an attempt to get response from government. And Dominica officially launches celebrations for its 41st anniversary of independence. I'm Kadisha Sentry with the Channel 5 News. Back with the details after the break. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. First up, a mixed response from government on the Joint Electoral Commission's report following its visit to Dominica. Andrea Louis has that story. A joint commission consisting members of CARICOM, the Commonwealth and the Organization of American States, OAS, visited Dominica from 6th to 9th August and subsequently submitted their report. Attorney General Levi Peter revealed some of the report's contents to the public, saying there are some aspects of the report which government is in agreement with. The government is pleased to note that the joint special mission, like the government, is of the view that the existing electoral legislation must be amended to enable the introduction of photo identification cards. The government is also pleased to note that the mission has acknowledged that the Prime Minister has the constitutional right to call elections at any time of his choosing. As regards other recommendations and aspects of the report, however, the government notes and accepts the important best practice principles that, one, electoral reform needs to be carefully managed to ensure that it fulfills its intended and stated purpose without confusing electors and with minimal disruption to the electoral administration. And two, an unsuccessful attempt at reform could have serious consequences. Peter notes, however, there are certain aspects of the report with which the government doesn't agree. In that vein, regrettably, the government is unable to accept aspects of the recommendations contained in the report. In particular, in relation to the recommended house-to-house -house re verification ex exercise. The government's re reasons are detailed fully in its written response to the joint mission. In summary, the government is of the view that the recommendations, in particular in relation to re-verification, are unworkable and, if implemented, will cause confusion and disruption, contrary to best practice and, importantly, will not result in the required updating of the register, otherwise known as cleansing, cleansing of the list. 
Specifically, the proposed re-verification will not result in the mandatory use of photo identification cards for the purpose of voting. The Attorney General notes that government is committed to electoral reform and will continue to work towards that goal. In other top stories, the United Workers' Party will take to the streets on Monday in a series of peaceful protests across the city. That's according to leader of the opposition, Lennox Linton. During a press briefing earlier this week, Mr. Linton said the party has devised a number of actions which it hopes will cause government to respond to their query on the alleged $1.2 billion of CBI funds which are missing. We are left with no choice but to proceed with the following actions. Number one, a peaceful gathering on Victoria Street at 3 p.m. on Monday, September 30th, 2019, to present a formal complaint to the President of the Commonwealth of Dominica requesting his intervention. Two, a peaceful gathering outside police headquarters on Bath Road at 3.45 p.m. on Monday, September 30th, 2019, to present a formal complaint to the Commissioner of Police requesting his intervention. Number three, a peaceful gathering on the Dame Eugenia Charles Boulevard outside of the High Court at 4.30 p.m. on Monday, September 30th, 2019, to present notification of our pursuit of appropriate legal action to have the missing money deposited in the Consolidated Fund of Dominica. Apart from the series of peaceful gatherings on Monday, the UWP will also be engaging in a number of campaigns in hopes of eliciting a response from government. Four, a campaign seeking the assistance of the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigations, Britain's Scotland Yard, Interpol, and the European Union's Financial Intelligence Unit to find the missing $1.2 billion and deposit it in the Consolidated Fund of Dominica. A campaign to inform, number five, campaign to inform the international community of the refusal of the government of Dominica to account for the missing $1.2 billion. And six, beginning on Monday, a campaign of civil disobedience all over Dominica until the list of electors is cleaned, ID cards for voting are issued, and the missing $1.2 billion is properly and completely accounted for. During a UWP public meeting on Friday, 6 September, Mr. Linton gave Prime Minister Skerritt until 20 September to properly account for the alleged missing $1.2 billion of CBI funds. Moving on to cultural news, Dominica will officially open its 41st anniversary of independence on Saturday. The ceremony is started for 6.30 p.m. at the Dame Eugenia Charles Boulevard in Roseau. The main feature of the opening ceremony will be a special presentation which was performed as Dominica's country night at the recently held Carifesta celebrations in Trinidad and Tobago. The presentation will showcase aspects of the evolution of Dominica's music and will feature signal band, Dominica's Lady of Song, Ophelia, performances by the Kalinago, traditional and creative dancers, Jinping, Lapo Cabwit, traditional Creole and Carnival costumes, among other expressions. And following the main presentation, the Ecstasy Band will also be entertaining the public as well. So that's Saturday the 28th, at the Bayfront starting at 6.30 in the evening. Everyone is invited to participate. This year's independence celebrations are being held under the theme Saluting Resilience and Rejuvenation Two Years On. You're watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. 
persons with TB sneeze or cough, healthy persons nearby breathe in the droplets, and the bacteria can lodge in their lungs. People with weakened immune systems such as HIV AIDS, alcohol and drug users, smokers, children and the elderly are most susceptible. Persons with a cough should take precautions when in contact with persons in public places. Cover your mouth when sneezing and coughing. Visit your doctor or health center. You must complete your treatment. TB can be cured even with HIV. Be responsible. Help stop the spread of TB and HIV. Protect yourself and others. helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up, switch to Flow. It only gets better. Welcome back. The Dominican public is being urged to support the efforts of a local filmmaker who spent Hurricane Maria in the forest. Uncivilized is a first-person documentary by filmmaker Michael Lees, who chronicles his journey in the forest where he planned to spend six months away from civilization. However, during his time there, Hurricane Maria struck and his film shows him and the country in the post-Maria era. The film debuted at Emerald Movies, Dominica's local cinema house, on the second anniversary of the passage of Hurricane Maria to a full house. Executive producer Sheldon Kazemi says greater support for local films will help push the industry further. I feel it's a testament to the fact that there is a model that can be sustainable in terms of young people or even other creatives creating films and having it showcased at the cinema. So I feel like the general public coming out to support it will definitely um, augur well in terms of how the cinema sees the business model and also in terms of just entertainment for um, the general public. I feel like if we can see more of our stories on, on, on the big screen then it will help us in telling more of those stories. Efforts are being made to enter Uncivilized into the regional film festival circuit to garner greater support for and awareness of Dominican films. One of the things that we are focused on right now is doing the film festival circuit and getting Uncivilized into other film festivals within the region and also internationally will help us bring a certain amount of awareness to the film. It might get some traction from a distributor and if we can get distribution on it, then that will really propel the film to an international audience. Also, I feel um, if that doesn't happen, we have creative ways of trying to do self-distribution and we will all also explore that. The film will play this weekend with its last showing on Thursday, 3rd October. For those who are yet to view the film, here is an excerpt of Uncivilized. Oh man! And finally, a special focus on developing the fishing sector in the South. Member of Parliament for the Petit Savan constituency, Dr. Kenneth Daru, has promised constituents special emphasis to be placed on the fishing sector for the coastal communities in his constituency. We will continue to develop the fishing industry in that part of the country. We have assisted our fisher folk in the procurement of boat engines, etc. In fact, just yesterday, another check of $150,000 was made available to the Fossil Fisheries Cooperative. 
we have long discussed and agreed that given the special vulnerability in this part of the country and the strong dependence on maritime activities, this part of the country is due for some sort of coastal infrastructure, preferably a multi-purpose one that would cater for possible inter-island trade with the neighboring island of Martinique, tourism-related activities, and of course, an evacuation route in times of disaster. Dr. Daru was speaking at a national public meeting in Bagatel on Thursday, where he assured constituents that he has re-entered the political arena to serve them once again. In spite of an, of an initial decision, sorry, to move away from active politics, I have heeded the call from many across the constituency and the country to give it another run, ladies and gentlemen. Because many felt that I had given enough to warranty another term in office and my work in that part of the country was not quite done. I would like to thank you for this show of confidence and to take this opportunity to recommit myself to you during this upcoming new term because I am going to have a full term, ladies and gentlemen. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. To end the news, the headlines once again. Government expresses mixed reactions on electoral reform report. The United Workers' Party to take to the city's streets on Monday in an attempt to get a response from government. And Dominica officially launches celebrations for its 41st anniversary of independence. Feel free to contact us at news at marpin2k4.com. You can also access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Kalisha Sentwin. Thanks for watching and join us again next time.